Uh, so today I'm going to talk to you guys about advertising. It's cool. Um, so I'm going to go over uh, modern techniques uh, that they try to use. Uh, also going to go over how like advertising plays uh, a part in social media, and then finally probably wrap up with uh, new innovative uh, techniques for advertising. So what do you think about advertising? Uh, when you think about specifically commercial advertising, uh, you think about um, newspapers, uh, magazines, TV. So it's kind of like watching a commercial on TV. Um, reading a newspaper, reading an ad in a newspaper, or, uh, or reading like, ads in magazines. Um, so, but the things that you can notice about the, these three forms of media is they all really have, um, they're just like one-way communication, right? So you're, re you're watching an ad on TV, and uh, it's really like, you can't really give any feedback to that ad. You're uh, just, it's just sort of, you're reading it, you absorb the content. Um, so they're, these are like traditional forms of media, and they're kind of, they're kind of on the decline. Um, there are new forms because of uh, more, more use of the internet, more use of uh, um, new, I mean, the, because of new technologies and because of social media. Well, advertisers have to catch up with these different behaviors. Um, so taking online TV or TV uh, series as an example, uh, when you want to watch your favorite TV series show, uh, you kind of, um, Nowadays you rent a DVD, so this is all about product placement. Um, since we don't watch ads as much anymore because we rent, we rent DVDs or we watch it online, we uh, actually, product placement actually is a lot better. Um, Hulu.com, another online TV uh, site, uh, they looked at the experience differently and they allow you to choose your ad before actually watching your program. So you get to select what you're actually going to watch. <laughs> the ad that you're actually going to watch. Um, social media, so social media is also another uh, form of media that advertisers are jumping onto. Um, it's, and the reason for this is that, like going back to my previous slide, how it's only about one-way communication, social media actually does a more of a interactive dialogue uh, for communication. Um, so if you look at sites like YouTube, Twitter, Blogger, they're all, uh, all really about two-way communication. So if I was on YouTube, I would, um, I would actually post a video as a post, and, and also like, look at other people's videos, post comments. Same thing with blogger, I get to share my thoughts, uh, read other people's uh, thoughts, and that's great uh, venue for advertising. Looking more closely at Facebook, pretty much about every brand that you have out there has its own profile page, as well as its own people following them. Uh, so whenever they set out something like a sales ad, all their fans will actually, or people following them will actually get that um, advertisement. And then if they say, I like it, it goes for their spiders up. And talking about spidering on viral videos are another example of social media um, spidering. Um, so this is the idea where if you like a video, uh, and your friends like it, it keeps uh, getting spread. Um, there's a video out there uh, called the JK's Wedding video. I don't know if some of you may have heard it about it. And basically, it was a video with a song. Um, uh, it's a song by Usher called Forever, I think. And Sony uh, actually owns that song, so they capitalized on this video by putting one of those one-click method uh, buttons in here so we take you to the site. Um, that, this song was like a year old, but uh, uh, I think it went up the charts to number three and number four on iTunes and Amazon. Twitter and Google TV, I don't know if you guys have heard about Google TV. So Twitter realized you watch, uh, you tweet a lot while you watch big events. And so they decided to um, create an app for Google TV so you can actually, uh, while you're watching TV, you can actually tweet and that's another source of uh, advertising for Okay, hypermarketing. Hypermarketing is the is the new new forms of uh, marketing that people have come up with, uh, and it's more about more being more interactive and more uh, having more of a physical experience uh, with your interactivity. Something about marketing. Creative <laughs> um, KVD is a French company that actually uh, has um, and it, it's something like the in Minority Report when when the guy walks into the store in the store and. Um, the hologram recognizes the person's face and he knows that he's a regular customer and starts talking about his previous purchases. That's the kind of uh, software that this uh, community comes up with. So they can, what they can actually do is they put on a poster, an advertising poster, they have a camera which can actually identify uh, what gender you are, what, uh, age, what age group you fall into, uh, how many people have actually viewed this ad. So based on that, you can actually, um, uh, you know, in the future, you'll probably be able to react and continue uh, uh, direct sound ads. Um, in in New York, there was um, uh, there was an ad, a poster. I think it was called Whispering Wall something. Uh, but it was about uh, a show called Paranormal Activity. 
uh, kind of move state. And uh, basically what they did was they shoot sound at people who passed by. And so when you were saying you were walking by, you'd hear, who's there? <laughs> so you imagine you turn around and you see this ad for Paranormal Skate. So that's kind of like, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty insane stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, Reactrix is uh, probably, uh, this is the last uh, company I'm going to talk about. You've probably seen some molds for the Americans. Uh, but um, it's basically projecting uh, an interactive surface on the floor. And what they do is they slam the company's logo right in between. But what happens is like, uh, so for example, in this case, there are a whole lot of balls there. Kids can actually kick the balls around. It's a flat surface. And here, for example, this kid has like these cars going around this racetrack, but the cars actually recognize where the person is and actually drive around uh, the person. Um, but yeah, so these are, as you can see, these are many uh, more of an interactive uh, form, more engaging uh, than the regular. So to summarize, um, if we were looking at advertising back in our traditional forms, it was very one-way, um, not that much uh, feedback coming back from uh, the, the target. But uh, today, like most of the forms, and probably in the future, we'll probably more likely see more engaging forms of communication with uh, advertising.